So, you gotta expect sometimes people are gonna grab you. Let's talk about clothing today. Are people likely to use your clothes in a fight? I think so. If you think about it logically, someone's gonna grab hold of your arms or your body by reaching out and grabbing your clothes and threatening you by your clothes and pushing you up and saying, what are you looking at, mate? What are you looking at, right? Now the thing is they're using your clothes against you and that can be quite intimidating, physically intimidating because the guy's pulling you, he's pushing you, he's driving you. Now look, if someone grabs you, it's not a big deal. From a perspective of a defense position, it's never really a bad thing if someone's grabbing hold of your clothing. Very often people panic when they're being grabbed and they think it's a disadvantage, but actually it's an advantage. And the reason why it's not a bad thing is because his hands are tied up. The one thing I know that if he ties his hands up, he can't hit me. Because his hands are already connected. They're connected to my clothing. So this isn't a bad thing. I know exactly where his hands are. So it doesn't matter whether he holds my hands, okay, whether he holds my hands and my clothing. I could be hitting him, hitting him, hitting him, hitting him, because it's a good thing. Whatever he does and whenever he grips, he puts himself at a disadvantage. And that's to your advantage. The point is what I'm trying to say is, don't panic. If I want to be really nice to him and I don't want to hit him and hit him and hit him and hit him and hit him because his hands are tied up, what I can essentially do is choke him. The guy grabs hold of you, the first thing you always need to do, and this is the key thing, is the base to drop your weight because his hands are tied up and you want to keep them in. So I can open up his lapel, look mate, I don't want any trouble, stop pulling, pull and push me around, rag me around a little bit. As long as I keep my posture, okay, I could be opening this. So you notice how I bend my knees? So you see how I drop my weight and I keep his hand collapsed in, in, in position. And that way I use his clothing against him. What I like to do is to grab hold and wrap the arms hold the arms and bend my knees so I close my elbows. So I'm gonna push this arm out. You see how I'm using the material, I'm moving it out, and that allows me to open this collar up, this collar up simultaneously, so I'm opening this hand. It's quite good to, and it works quite effectively, doesn't it? Try and pull your arms out. He can't pull his arms out. And then I'm gonna insert this hand nice and deeply while we're being pushed and pulled around. Now, I know most of you clever clogs out there are gonna to say to me, yeah, but the guy's gonna headbutt you. He's gonna go do this. Yes, he's gonna headbutt me. At the same time, I'm gonna go around and bring the other collar, boom, and grip. And then from here, I can squeeze, he'll let go. But either way, the answer was the same as it was last time. If I trap the guy and he goes to headbutt, I'm gonna be putting my elbows up. So my elbows are going in the space and I'm smashing with my elbow. So the idea is quite simple. He's pushing, pulling me around, push, pulling me around, he's being really aggressive. He's not punching yet. He's just pushing, pulling me around. I'm holding this, opening this collar, keep pushing, pulling me around. And he's doing that. I'm gonna switch this hand in and then I'm gonna choke him. Bang, he'll let go. So he can headbutt me, yes, but this is close quarter fighting. If he doesn't let go, he's gonna pass out. He's gonna black out, it'll be good night. Now most of you are going to say, yeah, but he could be pulling you to punch you. It doesn't really matter. All the variables we've gone through in our videos, the guy can knee, he can headbutt, he can bite me, he can do whatever he wants. But here's the thing. If he's grabbing hold of me and he's pulling and pushing me around and then he lets go to punch, I could be wrapping this arm because he's still holding this. What I do when I trap his arms and he can't get his arms out, if he's trying to use his head, I could frame him as well, keep him away. And this is where we start talking about using the clothing against the guy. If I use the clothing, his jacket, see how I feed this into here? Now the good thing about this is the environment I'm using it, I'm pushing him against the wall. And then I can be hitting him, hitting him with elbows, striking him, 
but now I've got elbows, now I've got elbows, now I've got elbows on his nose, and now I'm punching, now I'm headbutting him back, but I'm keeping his arms trapped, he can't get them out. Even stepping around and throwing him, striking him some more, striking him some more, opening his head and hitting him. So I've got more opportunities, more options of attack once I start considering using his clothing. Let alone countering, blocking the punches and using the clothing to off balance him, which allows me to throw him, okay, and hit him. And that's the, that's the lesson for today. So, don't panic when the guy grabs hold of you. If he grabs hold of you, use it to your advantage. Should you use the clothing against a person in a street fight? Absolutely. Do not panic and try to get them off you. Because what you're doing is you're choking them and you're using their clothing against them. Bang, frame if you need to, but certainly use knees, okay, and elbow, and keep the person, bang, in a trapped position. And it's an effective weapon. Use it. Be happy, be good, and have fun. Thanks for watching.